Let's get this out of the way. Nobody paid me to do this. I do this because, well, I like it. And I like to share with you some of the experiences that I have because maybe it would be of help to you. And uh, it's time to mow the lawn today. And what I like to do is weed whack first, then mow second, and then do a little bit of cleanup afterwards. And I'm kind of tired of the gas thing. The last time I went to go use my, my Craftsman eighth horsepower, quarter horsepower, half horsepower, I don't know, horsepower, gas power, uses white gas, or not white gas, but you know, the thing in the can. Um, it ran for about three quarters of the yard and still with a half a tank left, it quit and I couldn't get it restarted. I don't know why. Could be just maladjusted carburetor. Well, I said, you know, the heck with this. I'm going to go electric. I know. There's this love-hate relationship between uh, me and electric tools and some of the modern electric tools. You've seen me use my Ryobi lawnmower and I like it. I don't love it. But uh, I like it. It does the job well. I don't have to worry about gas. I don't have to worry about any of that. I plug it in, charge the batteries, um, put the battery in, hit the start button, start cutting the lawn. It works well for that. I'm thinking it'll do the same. Now, I've, I, I've only reason why I have Ryobi is because I, I kind of bought into the Ryobi uh, lawn care system. Because uh, they were the first ones, I think, to have the 40 volt uh, HP, I don't know, high horsepower, what does that mean? 40 volt batteries, and those seem to work fairly well. A lot of power, long life, if you get a 4 amp hour, 6 amp hour, I've got two 6 amp hour, and now that I bought this, I've got a 4 amp hour that goes in here, and the, uh, the accompanying tool that came with this kit, affiliate links down below. So what might be nice is I'll show you what's in the box and then we'll show you weed whacking and I'll give you a little bit of specs and we'll probably leave it at that because I got to move on. This is the box that it came in. It's got three times the power of I don't know what, but it's three times with a 600 CFM jet fan blower. <laughs> I really like that thing. It says 30% more powerful. I'm not sure what it's more powerful than. And this innovation whisper technology, <laughs> it's pretty darn loud. Came with a bag of stuff. Extra line, which is kind of cool. There's this attachment thing that replaces the, the weed whacker hub. Came with two uh, rigid weed whacker things. It's for tougher brush, I guess. If you have a, a little tree with a little, yeah, that'll cut. And it came with a crank thing. I'm not sure exactly what this is for. I think when you put the new line in, you can go like this, well, like this, and it'll crank the line in. That's its, maybe we'll deep dive into that a little bit later. Place crank attachment on grooved section of the trimmer head and rotate clockwise to reload line until six inches remain on each side. It is kind of nice. It came with some pre-cut line. Came with a battery charger. This is a nice one. It lays flat and the battery slides into here. Came with a 40 volt lithium battery, four amp hour, which is adequate. This particular package came with this bad boy. <laughs> we'll talk about this some other time. It's got a carbon fiber thing here that attached right inside of here. Screw the knob on, put the handle on, and you're pretty much ready to rock and roll. Oh, just slide the battery in, then you're ready to rock and roll. It has this little fancy switch right here where it's in low power mode now. You do that, you get high power mode, it just means it goes faster and it drains the battery faster too. It's got this little double trigger thing. You, you know, when you push down there, it won't go until you fold that back. It's almost like a Smith & Wesson or a Glock. You know, you got the little extra, and then you can, and then it goes. All right, lastly, this part does come off and you can buy accessories like chainsaw for high branches, a way to even clean out your gutter. It's an interesting set of tools that slide in here and, and it uses the, this base as the motor. 
and the battery. Can you scan that? It, it may unleash some more power. Let's go whack some weeds and see how it works. Are you ready? All right, now, even though this is whisper quiet, I always recommend hearing protection and eye protection. You only got two of each. Protect them. I got a story about my real been weed whacking my trusted tool that keeps my yard tight and dapper. Precision and power. It's the best in the land. And as much as I like these little flowers, you gotta go. All right, it, uh, as you can see, it wax weeds really good. That cable, I, I only had to bump it once. Yes, this does have a bump thing, so you just hit it on the ground and the trim line comes out a little bit more and it's got a little cutter on it so it cuts it to the right length and all that kind of thing. Um, the only odd thing about it is it actually turns the opposite way. It turns, when you're looking at it, counterclockwise. Uh, the craftsman went clockwise. So I got to learn how to angle the thing so that it cuts uh, in the way that I want and doesn't throw things where I don't want it, like my window. So it, I, it seems like this, for me, if I angle it in the way, because I'm right-handed, if I angle it the right way, it actually shoots the stuff back down into the ground, which is perfect. If I get it too straight on, um, it actually throws it up into my face instead of away from my face. I guess you, I guess you can't make a perfect weed whacker, can you? Oh, one other thing. This particular uh, design is that it's got a straight shaft and then a... 45, I guess it is degree. There's a gear thing in there, or it could be just a cable, but I think it's a gear. And it puts the the uh, the cutting trim line in just the right position. Now you can uh, obviously adjust the handle so that it, you know, it, you're holding it in the right spot and all that. But I like this better than this angled uh, pipe configuration. It just made it really tough to turn and get an angle that you want to get. It was just awkward, always awkward, this 90 degree-ish like turn. This one's going in the uh, the garden shed for, for now. Yeah, and the other thing about it is that it leaks gas. I turned it upside down to show you the head and gas was pouring out, not pouring out, but leaking out. And it's just the design, it's just the way it is. I'm kind of done with gas. I'm kind of liking the uh, the electric version. Okay, do I recommend it? Uh, I've been using this thing for four weeks and uh, 
I have found it to be, with the exception of getting used to the fact that it spins the other way than from the other one, uh, I find it to be a little more balanced in my hand. Uh, and I find it to be, it's not any lighter. It's about the same weight, even though this is carbon fiber. I, I can't imagine what the aluminum one is going to weigh. It's probably going to weigh a little bit more. Uh, maybe I'll uh, throw a spec in here about how much this thing weighs. But other than that, you know, other than those similarities and the fact that it's different in the way it spins, yeah, I think I would recommend it. It whacks really good. The amount of um, uh, trim line that I'm using, I haven't, ch I haven't changed this yet. I'm telling you, with the other one and the trim lines that it recommends, uh, I'm changing trim line or I'm adding trim line uh, just about every lawn mow or every weed whack. It just gobbles up and I've tried all sorts of um, trim line. This one seems to be, I don't know, I, I, you know, it's, it's multi-core and then it's got a sheath around it. So that might make it a little tougher. Uh, I know I don't want to get whacked by it. I know the weeds are getting whacked really good. I'm hitting you know the fence posts and metal things and certainly the fence boards and it's and concrete it seems to be holding up really good so that's my take on it i guess only time will tell whether or not i'll really enjoy this over the long haul i will say it is a little pricey it it costs the initial cost is a little more than the craftsman was but i think when you factor in trim line, fuel, and uh, the difference between the Craftsman and plugging this thing in, I don't think it's going to cost as much to run like it does with the fuel. Yeah, I'd say uh, go ahead and get yourself one. If you're, uh, if you're in need of a weed whacker, you're tired of gasoline, you're tired of it spilling, you're tired of all of that kind of thing. Um, and you just want to plug a battery in that you've pre-charged the night before, the week before, whatever. Just make sure your batteries are charged. Uh, yeah, I would recommend it. Now, how much battery did I actually use? I, uh, I whacked mm, roughly... Um, how long have you been whack... whack, whack. <laughs> how long have you been whacking? So the backyard is about a quarter of an acre. So I, I weed whacked the perimeter and I weed whacked the interior because uh, there's tree rings and all that kind of thing. And uh, I still have three bars left, so it, and that's on a four amp hour battery. So I, I could uh, weed whack, take this battery out, plug it into the blower, and probably you know clean up the yard with the, with the uh, lawn blower. We'll talk about that lawn blower next time, okay? I think I'm gonna bring this to a close so that, well, I can put this away and get the lawn mower out and I don't like mowing the lawn, but I do like using that blower. This bad boy, we'll see you next time. <laughs>